Chris Abraham from Go Math. Here to do number 38 on the general curriculum math practice test. I'm going to start by when I look at this problem, you know, right away the the diagrams really stick out. And I'm going to read over this problem and I think once we go about it, you'll right away when you see images like this, right away you'll know the math concept to review. So, here we go. Which of the following nets can be formed to form a square pyramid. The key word here is nets, and this is the concept that's in this problem. So let's take a moment and talk about what exactly is a net. A net is what we catch butterflies with. Nope, it's not that type of net. We're going to deal with nets in math. Nets in math involve taking a two-dimensional shape, for example, let's take this two-dimensional shape, and folding on the lines so that no none of the edges um, none of the edges sort of uh, uh, overlap each other folding on the lines so that I could turn this shape into this shape here so it's taking a 2D 2D version uh, and forming a 3D 3D I don't know how you actually do that, but I guess it would be like this. 2D, 2D, two-dimensional shape versus, versus a three-dimensional shape. 3D. And that's what a net is. So let's, if I, if I wasn't so, still not 100% 100% sure on what a net is, I might go to Google. I might type in nets geometry. I might see what they come up with. Well, these are all examples. Let's look at the square one. This one is not a net, by the way. So let's, let's focus on how uh, these ones here are all good examples of nets. These all could, I could fold on these lines and get a square. Um, let's see some others. These are good ones here. These are examples of nets of a pyramid. That means if I folded this up, it would form a three-dimensional pyramid with a square base. Uh, let me get some others, ones that um, are going to help with this problem a little bit more. This is a net of a rectangle. Okay, so the 2D version folds up into a 3D shape. Nets are really helpful. Why would we use nets in geometry? Nets are usually used to find surface area. So if I had to find the surface area of this three-dimensional shape, I might think of it in terms of its net and then find out the individual area of each one of the faces and then be able to um, find out the exact uh, surface area, the outside edges. I still haven't seen a net that's gonna, that I'm looking for. So let's see if I, I'll, I'll, see, uh, I'll see a few more and then maybe, uh, okay, uh, those, I guess this is, uh, this is sort of interesting when I'm thinking about it. So these various nets, like this one right here, they actually end up forming um, this type of three-dimensional shape, or the cube is formed by any of these type of nets, or the cylinder right here, the circle, the, the soda can is formed by a net that's made up of two circular bases, and this one right here. Um, the pyramid is made up of this net right here. I'll, I'll see if I can enlarge it. Eh. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything online here. You get the idea. I want you to go, I want you to review how to form nets. You can do this by printing out the sheets and literally cutting out the sheets and forming and folding up the sides so you can get a two-dimensional shape and form a three-dimensional shape. That's the best way to do this if you struggle with a problem like this. Um, and those that can manipulate the shapes in their mind, they're very visual spatial learners, they're not going to have so much a problem with this. But if you're looking at this right now and you're like, I'm not even so sure how to approach this, you might want to print out the sheets and get some hands-on practice. Okay, so I'm trying to find out which one of these nets folds into a pyramid. It would be great if it was this net right here. Then you'd all be like, hey, I know, this is the one that folds into a nice pyramid, but it's not. 
So what's a strategy to do? Well, maybe eliminating the ones that would, when you started to fold them up, would right away um, crash into each other. I think C, right away, this side is too close. Once you start to fold that up, it would sort of uh, overlap. So we could eliminate C. Okay, so, um, well, when, where do I go from there? Hmm, um, that's where it gets kind of tricky. I think this is really hard. The answer here is B, by the way. Okay. I would print out this, enlarge them, cut them out, and see why. But this side is going to line up to this right here. This side is going to line up to this one right here. This is going to line up to this. This one right here, believe it or not, is going to line up to that side there. Now, I'm manipulating that in my head. The only way you're going to get good at that skill is literally if you take the shape, print it out. It's not that you can print it out, you can enlarge it. I would print out all of them so you, you get a sense of why the others don't work. Okay? But you gotta print out that shape, you gotta cut it out, and you gotta sort of take that two-dimensional shape and turn it to a three-dimensional shape. Mm -hmm.